All right, thanks so much. And the first cruise ship to depart from the U.S. going to Cuba in 50 years is now in Havana. It arrived just a few moments ago. Carnival's Adonia set sail from Port of Miami just yesterday. Yeah, and the ship is scheduled to make stops in Havana, Sin Fuegos, or Sin Fuegas, rather, and Santiago de Cuba. Local 10's Hatzel Vela is on board with more than 600 passengers. Hatzel. Carlson Christie, I can tell you that the passengers right now, as we speak, are getting off the ship, going through immigration, getting all this stuff done, the proper procedure that has to be done anytime you travel to a country. But what a magnificent day. And talk about emotional, especially for the few Cuban born travelers that were on Fathom, the Adonia ship that took off yesterday uh, afternoon from Miami. Let's give you, show you some video as the ship was arriving in Havana's port. It took us a while to finally get to the terminal. We were parked for quite some time, but what an amazing view because as we were coming in, the folks on deck, 600 plus passengers, were able to see for the first time the Havana skyline. And as we got closer and closer, they were able to see the Cuban people, some of them with American flags waving in the air and sort of interacting at such a distance, but still it was phenomenal to see that as well. Let's go to some uh, Instagram posting by Mickey Arison, the chairman of Carnival Cruise Ship, uh, Carnival of Cruise Ship Lines, in which he says, and you can see it, the crowds welcome the Adonia to Cuba. This hasn't happened in 50 years. The U.S.-based cruise ship companies delivering, coming with the cruise to Havana. And here's some of the pictures. This is really historic. Think about this. What you're going about to see is this picture I took as Arnie Perez, who is the counsel, the top attorney for Carnival Cruise Ship, uh, getting off the boat. Let's make sure you understand this. This is Arnie Perez, who is Cuban-born. And so to make it a historic event, to make it a more significant event, he was the first to get off ship, and there you see him about to shake the hands of the uh, Cuban delegation. As we mentioned, a 100, 600 folks on board the ship. That does not include the press, and it does not include the Carnival Corporation employees who also are traveling. As I mentioned, some of them Cuban-born coming here for the first time. Quite emotional for one of the women we met. Her name is Ana Maria. She's actually the city manager for North Miami Beach who says she has not been here since she left as a little girl. And let's take you back to some video from yesterday as the ship was leaving Miami. It left at around 3.30 in the afternoon, and it was about 247 uh, miles away from Havana, so it took us quite some time to get here, but it's quite an emotional time not just for the regular passengers, but specifically for the Cuban-born travelers who, for the first time, are stepping foot on Cuban land. What an amazing day. We're going to have those stories and much, much more starting at 5 and 6 later this afternoon. Guys, back to you.